Hello everyone, with you auto problems, when compiling the reliability rating of SUVs among used models up to 10 years old, various factors were taken into account, including feedback from car owners themselves, the frequency of contacting car services and the most common breakdowns characteristic of a particular car. The choice in favor of used cars can be understood, since cars from the salon are very expensive. If you have a certain amount, which is definitely not enough for a new car, but you can find something on them in the secondary market, you should look. Practice has shown that the most reliable SUVs have been operated without problems for 10 years. Further problems may arise due to the natural wear of parts. Therefore, even the most careful driver will not be able to fully protect himself and his Jeep from possible breakdowns caused by the aging process of engine parts and other systems. Among the top 10 cars that we managed to collect in this rating, there are no obvious outsiders or pronounced leaders. All machines have the necessary qualities, but belong to slightly different price segments. Let's hope everyone finds what he can afford. Toyota Land Cruiser More than 150 models in the track record, find at least one more such prolific automaker. Yes, among them there are many cars intended for the domestic market and completely unknown abroad, but there are also world bestsellers, which undoubtedly include the famous SUV. The title of the most reliable SUV in the world of Land Cruiser is well deserved, each generation turned out better and always sold well, starting with the 70th series, which was launched in 1984, and ending with the 200th, which debuted in 2007. It can be argued that almost all generations have the same list of advantages, in addition to exceptional reliability, one can also name a monumental appearance, a huge and comfortable interior, and ideal off-road performance. The range of engines is extremely extensive, among them there are diesel power units, and powerful gasoline engines that perfectly cope with all the tasks. Perhaps the most famous is the 235 horsepower 4.7 liter engine installed on the 100 series SUV. Both mechanical boxes and automatic transmissions in a Japanese Jeep match the engines, they go as much, if not more. The only requirement is to choose a well-maintained copy, although this will not be easy if you have a limited budget. The second generation SUV costs about a million rubles on the secondary market, but be prepared that it has a mileage of 300,000 kilometers. You can look for the Land Cruiser 200th series of the 2008 to 2010 model with a range of 200,000 kilometers, but such a car will cost about 2 million rubles. In any case, the Land Cruiser will justify your investment, no wonder it has been in the top 10 best-selling SUVs for the past two decades. Suzuki Grand Vitara The Grand Vitara cannot boast of such a pedigree as the Land Cruiser, but it got the second place in the top 10 most reliable SUVs with mileage for other virtues, among which it is worth highlighting, first of all, affordability. Yes, it looks rustic, but are you going to buy an SUV not to show off on the podium? He has everything else in order. This is the famous Japanese reliability, and durability, and excellent off-road performance, and a range of powerful engines, and unpretentiousness in operation, which is legendary. The five-seat version is considered the most popular, although the more spacious seven-seat version is also good. The optimal combination of engine and transmission can be called a bunch of a 2-liter 140-horsepower gasoline engine and a manual gearbox, this is a copy of the third generation, 2008 with a range of 150 to 200,000 kilometers. Such an SUV will cost you 600,000 rubles. If you want a fresher car, then for a restyled version of an SUV, meaning the second restyling of the third generation, produced in 2012 with a mileage of around 100,000 kilometers, you will have to pay about 900,000 rubles. Agree, for a 10-year-old Japanese SUV, this is a very good value. And about the features of an SUV, corrosion is possible only on very old specimens or those that have been in an accident, with the active use of all-wheel drive, the cross-piece may break. The rest of the car can only cause trouble due to old age and normal wear and tear. Mercedes-Benz G-Class The Germans began developing the Gellenwagen, which later became legendary, back in 1972. It wasn't until 1979 that a prototype was built for military purposes, and since then this SUV has consistently appeared in all reliability-related ratings. The second generation had to wait 11 years, and it was at that broke all longevity records. The third generation Mercedes-Benz G-Class had to wait almost three decades. Of course, over these 28 years, the SUV has undergone many upgrades, but what American Jeep can boast of such survivability? The first generation in the secondary market, if found, is perhaps as a museum exhibit. But the W463 is already represented by a decent amount. These are copies, starting from 1990, as a rule. With unknown mileage, figures can be indicated even less than 100,000 kilometers, but we do not recommend trusting them. 
all of them with a transfer case, three lockable differentials, 4x4 drive, permanent, for each wheel separately. The price depends on the condition and engine, of which the SUV has a lot. There are offers up to 700,000 rubles, and there are offers for the same age Jeep and over 1.5 million rubles. The 2.3-liter 122 horsepower power unit is the weakest, but it is widely represented. A 210 horsepower 3.2-liter engine is often found, and there is also a 3-liter turbo diesel with 211 horsepower or a 5.5-liter 544 horsepower gasoline turbo engine. The top is a bi-turbo 6-liter engine with 612 horsepower. Where is the D34? Instances of 2000s of release cost at least 1.5 million, and a 10-year-old SUV will cost you 3 million. The main thing is to have enough money for gasoline, because Gel and Vaughan's appetites are exorbitant. Jeep Grand Cherokee Whatever the name, the whole era. These are the oldest and most reliable SUVs in the world. And our rating simply could not do without a car whose name has become a household name of the entire segment. The first generation Grand Cherokee hit showrooms in 1992 and ran until 1998. The second generation model was also on sale for seven years, excluding SUVs made in China until 2010. The third generation was produced during 2004 to 2010, that is, also exactly seven years. All three generations are represented on the secondary market. The vast majority of cars were brought from North America. There are SUVs of European origin. You can become the owner of the first generation Grand Cherokee with a range of 30,000 kilometers or more for 300,000 rubles, with a 4 liter 190 horsepower or 5.2 liter unit with a capacity of 215 horsepower. But it is better to pay 100,000 rubles extra and take a second generation Jeep with the same mileage and a 4 liter power unit, or a more powerful one, a 220 horsepower 4.7 liter volume. If you're lucky, you'll find a diesel option that's more economical but doesn't like stale engine oil. The box is only automatic, but there are different modifications, depending on the year of manufacture. The most reliable is the 5 band from Mercedes. Despite excellent off-road performance, the all-wheel drive itself suffers from the rapid failure of gaskets and oil seals, so this needs to be monitored. The chassis, due to the simplicity of the design, is durable and hassle-free, but with frequent off-road visits, the front levers suffer. The cost of 10-year copies starts at 1 million rubles. Mitsubishi Pajero Sport The Japanese automaker has a lot of Pajero Jeeps, Pinin, Junior, Mini, if you wish, you can find a couple more models. But the most famous, ranked 5th in the 2021 ranking of the most reliable SUVs, is the Pajero with the Sport prefix. And if you rush to look for sporty features in the appearance of this SUV, you will be deeply disappointed. This is a classic Jeep of the old sourdough without any design frills. Harsh and powerful, simple and hassle-free. In Japan, the car began to be sold since 1996, in the rest of the world, since 1997. The model has been repeatedly upgraded and managed to stay on the market for 10 years. In 2008, the second generation Jeep saw the light, and it was already a completely different car, only the frame structure remained common. Since 21,013, the famous SUV began to be assembled in Russia, and in 2015 the Japanese showed the world the third generation of Pajero Sport. And again, the exterior underwent dramatic changes dictated by the then automotive fashion, but the off-road qualities that led the model to success remained at the same highest level. You can no longer meet a first-generation car on the secondary market, and copies, starting in 2011, with a mileage of 200 kilometers or more, cost an average of 1.5 million rubles. Among them, you can find cars with different engines, from a 243 horsepower 3 liter diesel engine to a 352 horsepower 5.7 liter or 468 horsepower 6.4 liter gasoline power unit. The Russian assembled SUV costs about the same, but here the 2.5 liter turbo diesel with 178 horsepower is predominant. A manual transmission is very rare, but Mitsubishi's automatic is durable and reliable. The branded all wheel drive also works flawlessly, offering three modes. Rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive with a reduced gear ratio, all-wheel drive with a locking center differential. For a two-year SUV with a minimum mileage, you will have to pay 2.6 million rubles. Nissan Toronto This Japanese brand also has a more famous Jeep, but we put Toronto higher for several reasons. It is younger than Patrol and at the same time cheaper. Therefore, the Japanese Jeep definitely deserves a place in the top of the most reliable and unpretentious used SUVs. The first generation better known as the Pathfinder, was released in 1985 and lasted two decades. The second generation, 
focused on the European market, was produced in Spain from 1993 to 2006, having gone through several restylings, in 1999 and 2002. With the appearance of a classic SUV, Toronto will not surprise you with smooth forms, it is rough and angular, as befits a representative of this segment. In the secondary market, you can also find a 1991 to 1993 Pathfinder with a solid mileage and a cost of 200,000 rubles, but it's better to pay twice as much and become the owner of a 1999 to 2000 Jeep after restyling. Even for a reliable Japanese, 10 years of difference matters. In this case, you will have a choice between a gasoline 2.4 liter power unit with 118 horsepower and a couple of turbo diesels. 125 horsepower 2.7 liter and 154 horsepower 3.0 liters. Most of the offers are with an automatic transmission, but there is also a manual transmission. For a third generation SUV with a symbolic mileage, up to 100,000 kilometers, you need to pay 800 to 900,000 rubles, and this is a very good investment option. Mitsubishi Pajero. In terms of reliability and quality, this SUV is not much inferior to the leaders in the rating. Even today, this model, starting from the first generation, is in high demand. And let worthy specimens come across, starting from the second generation, since 1991, you definitely will not regret such an acquisition. Any obstacles for this Jeep will be surmountable, but the driving performance of the SUV is not bad, it is controllable even at high speeds. Corrosion for Mitsubishi Pajero is a rare guest, the chassis will not cause major problems, both types of boxes, automatic and mechanical, last a long time and rarely break. All engines are reliable, and the SUV has a lot of them. The second generation has two gasoline power units, 150 horsepower 3 liter and 208 horsepower 3.5 liter, as well as two diesel engines, 99 horsepower 2.5 liter and 125 horsepower 2.8 liter. Their resource with decent service is 500,000 kilometers. For such a Jeep manufactured in 1994 to 1996 with a range of up to 300,000 kilometers, they ask for 400,000 rubles. The third generation SUV after restyling in 2004 with a range of 180 to 310,000 kilometers has price tags from 700,000 rubles, and a 10-year-old fourth generation Jeep can be bought for 1.5 million. Ford Explorer. The current Explorer is just a full-size crossover, but until 2011, a full-fledged frame SUV was sold under this name, the first generation of which was produced during 1990-1994. Back then, massive SUVs were in vogue in the US, and the Explorer was fully in line with such trends, although Ford had other similar models, such as the Bronco 2. But already the second generation lost the downshift, it was decided to delegate its functions to the full-time drive. This departure from the off-road cannons went unnoticed, the car was still a success, and in 2001 the third generation of the Ford Jeep appeared, which became even more massive and overall. Four years later, it was time for the fourth and last generation in the status of an SUV. We will not talk about the off-road qualities and reliability of the current crossover, but being included in the list of the most reliable SUVs of the predecessors of the SUV is well deserved. This is really a very unpretentious and considered unkillable car. If you are targeting a 25-year-old model that costs about 200,000 rubles, then finding a car in good condition will be quite difficult, age does not spare anyone. Instances of the third generation will cost you 500,000 rubles, and here you can already choose a car that will serve you for a year or two. But a 10-year-old SUV will already cost 600 to 900,000. Nissan Patrol Perhaps, the legendary Patrol is the oldest Jeep presented in our rating. The first generation began to be sold back in 1951 when there was no such thing as an SUV. But the car had a frame structure and a full-fledged four-wheel drive, resembling a military Jeep Willis, USA, in appearance. The second generation had to wait nine years, but it turned out to be a long liver, holding out on the market for two decades. But, as it turned out, this was not a record either, since the third generation SUV, which was launched in 1980, rolled off the assembly line until 2003. The reason for such popularity is understandable. Phenomenal reliability, it is no coincidence that these machines were purchased by a number of countries for military needs, and they were used by the UN for numerous peacekeeping operations and missions. Simultaneously with the third generation Jeeps, since 1987, the fourth generation cars have been produced, and since 1997, the fifth generations. So you can be sure that the Nissan Patrol is one of the most reliable SUVs in the Russian secondary market. Only five-door modifications were imported to us through official channels although three doors are also characteristic of early models. 
For patrol of the second half of the 80s they ask about 200,000 rubles, younger options, the first half of the 90s, cost twice as much, and if you want the fifth generation of an SUV, then prepare an amount of 800,000. Note that the price range is very large even within one-year-old specimens with approximately the same equipment. Cadillac Escalade Most of our compatriots associate this American brand with premium and luxury. And few people know that in the assortment of this automaker there are also classic SUVs, and not bad ones. It's just that they weren't imported to us, although they are very popular all over the world. The life cycle of American cars is usually very short, and in the case of the Escalade it is completely anecdotal, the model began to be produced in 1999, but a generational change followed a year later. The Jeep, in full accordance with the overseas craving for megalomania, turned out to be huge, with a very spacious interior, and lasted five years on the market, this is the norm for the United States. It would seem that the same fate awaited the third generation of the SUV, but no, the Cadillac Escalade of the 2005 model was produced until 2014, when the production of fourth generation Jeeps started, which continues today. The current SUV is still striking in size, but notes have appeared in its appearance that correspond to modern trends. The reliability of the model can be judged at least by such a fact as the love of many American presidents for the Jeep, who preferred to travel on it. It is characterized by unpretentiousness in everyday operation and a large resource of all its components and assemblies. A 20-year-old copy with a mileage of 300,000 kilometers costs at least 500,000 rubles, a 2011 SUV will cost you 1.2 to 1.5 million. The cost of a 5-year-old American SUV starts at 3.5 million rubles. If the Jeep has no problems with reliability, then the situation is the opposite with spare parts. It is for this reason that the Cadillac Escalade rounds out our top 10. It will be very interesting to know your opinion about the list. And that's all for me, thank you all for your attention. I will be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel, see you soon.